everyone today I'm going to be painting this particular pendant now as you see this is a fern pendant I hope uh, you remember that I had made this particular piece with this kind of a bend and uh, I will also share the video uh, sorry share the link of this particular uh, pendant making video in the description box please don't forget to check that out and uh, this piece is fired and uh, as you clearly see it's ready to be painted upon if you see that it has been fired you can see that there is a lot more strength that this piece has uh, um, almost like a glass like sound that uh, you know um, it kind of gives Uh, so it's ready and we can paint this. I have chosen these three colors predominantly. One's a deep green which is close to a dark green, uh, a yellow ochre and a light olive green so these are the only three colors which i'm going to be using uh, the rest of the things are basically standard you know water a bit of uh, an old cloth uh, i'm using these two brushes now uh, one's a liner brush and uh, the other one is a small brush this is just a size uh, two um, actually it's a size four but this is a pretty old brush and actually a lot of these a uh, lot of the bristles have actually gone so you know you can use a two or a four based on your comfort and this is the only thing that I'm going to be using. Uh, I am also going to be using my hands to dab on a little bit of color uh, on the surface of this. Uh, but again, if you are allergic to uh, paints and uh, you know you don't want to use that method, you can try and use a sponge or completely avoid that method by uh, replacing it with some sort of a dry, maybe a slightly more stiffer brush. Uh, you know, if you're not comfortable using your hands directly on, um, you know, on the paint to get that kind of a dabbing effect effect. 